In this tutorial, we'll create the axle peg for the miniature train. I'm going to come up to the new standard.ipt and create. Start a 2D sketch and we'll place this on the front, the XY plane. I'll use the line tool and starting at the origin, I'm going to click, go straight up, and this value is going to be 1.125 inches. I'll go to the right, 0.125, and then I'm going to come back, click on the line tool again because I want to go back to the origin. So back starting at the origin where we begin, I'm going to click, come out to the right, 0.125. I'll go up one inch, then out to the right. This measurement I don't have yet, so I'm just going to bring it out a little ways and click, and we'll set that measurement in a moment. And then I'm going to come straight up and type in .031. Click on the dimension tool, and the information that I didn't have for the length of this line is because the diameter of this outer portion is .422, so I'm going to dimension that as half of it. I'm going to dimension this line back to the far line on the left. And I could type in 0.422 divided by 2, or you could type in 0.211, either one, to get that information. We're then going to use an arc. We'll click on the um, two open ends. So up top on that line that was 0.125, we're going to click it. We'll come over to the top of the line that was 0 .031, click, bend it out slightly so that we're starting the arc in the proper direction, and then type in 0 .236 and hit enter. I'll finish the sketch. We'll use the revolve tool, and you're going to revolve that sketch that we just made around the left hand side, the line that was 1.125, and click OK. On the top, we need to do a cutout, so I'm going to start a sketch on this top face. The word top rolled around sideways, I prefer that it stays where we normally read it. Underneath the rectangle is a drop down to do a polygon, so scroll all the way down, click the polygon. We want this to be six sided because we're making a hexagon, it's going to use an allen wrench to tighten it in. What I do is I click and I drag it out and then just click and we have to dimension it afterwards so I click to set it up and then choose done. I prefer to make sure that the top line here is horizontal you can see that that's kind of going at a little bit of an angle the way it's chopped there so in the geometric constraints we have a horizontal constraint when you do it do not click the center point that will just make that middle point um, constrained we want the entire line so I'm going to click the line up here and that evens it up for me then my dimension, I'm going to click one side, click the other side, pull it out to the side, and it tells me that it's 5 30 seconds. So I'm just going to simply type in 5 divided by 32 and hit enter to get the size of it. Finish the sketch. We'll do an extrude. We want to change this to a cut, and it's extruded 0.111 deep into it click OK. This object is also threaded. So we have a tool here for creating threads. Takes a moment to pop up. I'm going to click on the face and I need to go to the specification. It tells me that it is a um, quarter-20 UNC. So that information is correct. We're going to take off the full length and it is offset a quarter which is 0.25. Now occasionally it does this where it puts it on the wrong side. So what I want to try again is go back to the orange arrow for face and hover here and if I'm located there it's putting it on the top 
So I'm just going to move my mouse up and that puts it down on the bottom portion which is what I want and I'll click to place it and choose OK. The last thing that we have is to put a chamfer on the bottom. So next to the fillet tool we have the chamfer tool. I'll select it. It says that it's 45 degrees by 0 0.03. Type in 0 0.03 for the distance. Come down here, click the face, and then click the outside edge, and OK. And that's our finished axle peg, so we'll save it. And just call it axle peg.